Uh, yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna be making the first episode of the Roblox External. So, um, basically, what you're gonna learn in this series, it's gonna be like a long part series. I'm gonna be releasing like one video a day or something like that. And actually, I may do like two videos a day. Basically, you'll learn how to make a full like Roblox External. I'll teach you how to update it. It's gonna have aimbot, ESP. It's gonna have it all pretty much. So. Before we get started, I do want you to know that you're not going to be able to progress very far if you don't know C++, so I recommend this website here, learn C++, just go through and do most of these, you don't have to do them like all, but yeah, you can do most of them and then, hold on, get them out of here, yo, oh, oh, but yeah, let me close this, let's get right into it, I guess, so, first thing you're going to need, Go to the link in the description. I'm gonna have all of these links in the description here. This Visual Studio. <coughs> Go on it and then press download. And once you're in it, you can have this modify uh, just press modify and then click it's gonna ask you this when you first download it. Press desktop development with C and then we can get right into it. So, launch this. And then, okay, new project. Select, search up empty project. And then select this one, start with scratch with C and Windows. Files now, start files. Project name. You can name this whatever you want. It's going to be the name of your cheat, effectively. I'm going to call mine 808. Then just wait for it to get created. So, let me explain how it's going to work. Let me do a little illustration. So, here's going to be. Can you do text on here? Roblox player beta.exe. Right, this is Roblox player beta. Then this is the Roblox icon. This is going to be our sheet, right? As an exe. So, obviously Roblox will have a bunch of ones and zeros, the memory, right? All in the process, and we're going to have to like read and write to this, so how can we do it? So, what we're going to do is we're going to use something in the middle. This is going to be our sheet driver, right? So this is going to be the driver. And here we can send requests, read or write requests to our driver and then it's gonna send or write data back and yeah so we need to get this driver set up pretty much so when you have a project first thing we're gonna do is set up the press this button and then add create a folder called source create a folder called vendor so in source we're gonna have all our like code for the chi and in vendor we'll have our dependencies such as like on GUI and stuff like that Add a main .cp. Then change this from debug to release. Right click this, press properties. Now make sure you have all configuration set. Um, x64 is grand. Here, change this. Build that. Copy that over. And then do artifacts. And then here, change this to the newest version of C. Go to advanced, change this to use multi byte character set. Go here in the include directories, add source. Oh, that's not how you spell source. And vendor. Okay. Next, here, go to all options, search mull, and then turn this to yes. It's going to make our project build way faster with, with more cores. Linker, general, no, all options, search UAC, set this to require administrator. Let's get started, I guess. So, in the link in the description, so we're going to be using my uh, public driver for this. You can make your own if you want to, but here it is. You have all the like relevant files. So, for now, we're just going to use KD Mapper to map it, like, you know, yeah, with the binary. But later on, I'll show you how to like make it so your cheat loads it with the API, but just for simplicity's sake. Um, yeah, 
going to do it like this. So, I'm going to add a release or something. But in here, we're going to create our driver folder, right? And then we're going to add the communication. I'm going to explain all the communication stuff in a sec. Communication.h. Okay. So, how do drivers um, communicate? Many ways they can communicate, but the most the like most popular one is this. The most like easiest streamlined mainstream way to do it is with device I/O control. So yeah, you you pass the control code a handle to the device. So that's the driver handle. Um, the input buffer size, shit like that. So we can see here. See the input buffer is going to be our strokes size size of then what else do we need out buffer it's also going to be the arguments no pointer no pointer yeah i'm going to leave this in the description if you want to read on it So we can just go uh, go ahead and copy this over. Okay. So you see here we're missing a frame rate dot h, shit like that. So what we're gonna do is this is what I like to do in like pretty much all of my sources. We're gonna create a framework dot h, and then here we're just gonna type that a bunch of shit. Type that char i8, and then just clone that. And it's just short int uh, long long it just makes it so we don't have to type out the whole thing every time like, let's say we want unsigned long long we're not going to have to do unsigned long long we'll just do u64 let's copy this we'll do u u u u and then here do unsigned you don't have to do this, but I'm going to be doing this. Bad voice code. I'm going to type def float f32 and f64 for double. We're going to do, I'm going to do some strings as well. Like def char pointer csdr. Type def std string str. Hashtag include string. Red Chrono the uh, hashtag define sleep underscore mess ms cd this underscore fed sleep underscore four cd chrono milliseconds mess. Okay, so we can just do sleeps instead of typing this whole thing, we can just type that. Basically just learn C plus plus and you'll know what this is. Right. So if we go into here, we can see it's a uh, uh, it's a class, right? So we have to create. Yeah. So our find process is user mode. So it just uses the regular Windows API find image uses the what's it called the driver, obviously. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We can read and write virtual memory, physical memory. Read, read. What? The fuck? That's weird. Let me fix that real quick. What the hell? I thought I was tweaking out or some shit. Alright, cool. Yeah, cool. So, what do we have to do? We're going to create a global header. And then we're going to do hashtag include memory. Inline std unique pointer communication and I'm going to call it comms equals std let me include thingy first so we can use and angle brackets to do driver slash communication as we added it to the 
uh, BCC directories at the start. Then you pass in the type and then your arguments. But we don't have any arguments in our construction or our constructor, so we just do that. Alright, in here, let's create our entry point. In many ways, you can do an entry point. I'm going to do it like this. Fit like it. Include our framework. And then uh, we're going to take parameters just in case uh, we need to use them later. There we go. Okay, first thing we want to do is comms. So, our communication class has a method is connected to check if the driver is like loaded for example if we go to the definition uh, you'll see it returns if the driver handle is the invalid driver or invalid handle value and when we call the construction it creates the handle to the driver name and so yeah that's how we'll check so since we already called the constructor here then we can just do if comms Let's include global comms is connected and then we do not connected. Uh, we can print a what should we print? We'll do this thingy. Fail to connect to the driver. And then we can do our sleep underscore ms for five thousand. We can add a printf here as well, so just plus welcome to wait to wait cheats or whatever the fuck you wanna do. Next we need to we can do while comms find process and then we have to pass a process name and obviously we're trying to hide Roblox player, okay, what the fuck? Roblox player beta. So while that's zero, um, we can sleep and score MS 100. And then it says they're looking for Roblox process. So this will just poll, so we'll just wait until the Roblox is open. Oh wait, here we should do, we should add a print as well. Connect it to the driver successfully. Printf. F found. Do plus. Found. Roblox player. Data. Process ID. The temperature colon. Percent D. So you see here, it has uh, it returns process ID as well, but it also sets it in the member variable. So that's how we can check. Then we can do uh, if comes find image equals zero. Okay, we'll just do print f. Failed to what well, um get the base of the trust. That's some full stops. Add a semicolon and then we can do our Sleep five seconds. Okay, and then we can do print out found row box player data dot exe base address and then to print an unsigned long long we do ll x x is the unsigned ll is long long. 
comes a rich address. Cool. So then we should directly be ready to start reading and write memory and make our cheats and shit. So let me go into. Let me hold on. Let me say. I'm just in my other uh, source and I'm gonna build the driver real quick. I'm just gonna make a get up release so you guys can download it. Boom. Choose a tag. Fuck is a tag, bro? <laughs> You make a tag, give me an error. Okay. Give me a sec. I'm such a bot, I realize you have to put the fucking name here. That, cool. Um, put that in. Publish release. Cool. What's this? Oh, does it give you the source code as well? Ah, that's handy. Alright. So. Once you download the driver, uh, go get a copy of KD Mapper and build it. I'm just gonna go here. I have one here apparently, so let's get right into it. Right, yeah. Okay, and then just drag this on top. So, like that should have worked. We'll find out, I guess. Close this real quick. And yeah, once your driver is mapped, you can test your cheat so far. So, just open up Roblox. I see how long this video is 17 minutes, that's pretty good. Go in, press that. Restart on different credentials. Uh, basically, it won't work unless your cheat's running as administrator. So you can't create a handle to a driver if it's not as administrator. There we go. Found Roblox player with Pro ID that, and then base address. You can even do this if you want. Make it look nicer. Everything looks good here, so yeah, we can move on, I guess. So, what would be the first next step? The, ne the next step would be getting data model. So, I, I think we're gonna end it there. But next video, we'll get our task schedule so we can get our data model, visual engine, all that good stuff. And then, yeah, I guess we can start making cheats. So, thanks for watching the first episode. Hope you learned something. Do leave suggestions in the comments, please, because, I don't know, leave suggestions and shit like that. But yeah, peace.